do you have permission to film here? That is the question I have been asked as I'm filming around Dakar. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you around the beautiful city of Dakar. And guys, as fun as it is, it's also very challenging. It is one thing about Africa you need to be aware of is that as we're trying to promote our beautiful continent and show the world that Africa has a lot more than just poverty and hunger, and Africa is in fact beautiful, emerging, full of lively people and amazing places to visit. The challenge is to actually be authorized to film because no matter where you go, somebody's there to let you know that you don't have permission to be there. You must seek permission first before you film. It could be the airport, it could be a mall, it doesn't matter. So in this video, I went to the Renaissance Monument in Dakar, Senegal. Whoa, ay, 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 ay. Let's go. And when we got there, my friend did warn me that if security sees us with our cameras, they would tell us to stop filming. We finally made it here at the monument. Hey, toi tu viens ici tout le temps, mais tu dis que c'est souvent un peu le pagaille, hein? Ouais, Avec ouais. les gars, quand tu veux filmer. Ouais. Je... Quand là, je pense que s'ils si, si nous voient, ils vont venir. Hein? <laughs> It's a little bit challenging because as you travel around the world, whether you're in Paris, London, Washington, DC, generally popular monuments like that are not under any kind of rules. But that is not the case when you travel around Africa. You will be asked, Est-ce que tu as la permission? Do you have permission? So that's what we're going to be dealing with. I'm going to show you guys around the city and I'm going to be honest about some of the challenges and what I've learned as I'm traveling around the beautiful country of Senegal. So guys, welcome back to Adventures. I'm still here in Dakar, Senegal, and we are heading to the monument of La Renaissance. From there, I'm going to show you what it looks like, and you're going to have some beautiful shots over there. So thank you for tuning in to Adventures, and let's continue to venture in the streets of Dakar. So guys, I'm still here in Dakar, enjoying the beautiful sights. We're in this beautiful area here. So call the nom du quartier? Fad Residence. Fad Residence? Fad Residence, right. Okay. It's a very luxurious part of Senegal. And um, we are heading to the Statue of Renaissance. And it represents resistance, return to our culture, and basically everything that's emblematic about African history. It's definitely an icon, something that you just can't miss. It's the Eiffel Tower of Senegal. But it's not just a symbol of Senegal, it's also a symbol for Africa. So, it's one of those places that I've always wanted to see. So we are heading out there now, and I will show you views. But it's very interesting when you go there, sometimes you have, you know, uh, people, like it's been the theme out here, that don't want you to film, or they want you to use their cameras, or they want to charge you. I've seen several YouTubers struggle getting shots over there. Apparently, if you use your cell phone, it's okay. But anything else, like I'm using my portable camera, and my friend is using his major camera, that sometimes is a problem, you know. Alors, tu disais que toi, la dernière fois que tu es venu, c'était le problème, hein? Oh. Right. We're going to talk about this when we get to the statue, so.
We are getting closer and closer to the monument. It's right there. You guys can see it. Wow. We finally made it here at the monument. Et toi, tu viens ici tout le temps, mais tu dis que c'est souvent un peu le pagaille, hein? Ouais, Avec ouais. les gars, quand tu veux fumer. Ouais. Les gens, là, je pense que s'ils si, si nous voient, ils vont venir. Hein. <rire> mais c'est quoi le problème exactement? Ils ne veulent pas que les gens filment quelque chose? Ou bien ils veulent. Qu'est-ce qu'ils veulent même? Si on te voit avec ça. C'est le problème. Ouais. ouais. Ok. So, guys, so this is the, the, la statue de la Renaissance. Right in front of me. And like I said, this is a beautiful symbol. Not just for Senegal, but for Africa. You know, so it's truly an honor for me to be here. I actually cannot believe I'm over here right now. I've always, always wanted to come in and check out this amazing, amazing statue. So this is where everything starts. My adventure is right here in Senegal, man. So let's go up these stairs and check out this statue. This is the emblem of African resistance. This statue is one of the tallest in the world. It's only the tallest in Africa. And it rises from ground to up about 160 feet. This is a place that represents our culture, our heritage, and the resistance, and everything that embodies being African. Guys, Senegal is one of the most important symbol to visit. So as my friend warned me that if they see us, they will ask, what are we doing? And do we have the proper authorization? Guys, that's exactly what happened. So as we were setting up, ready to film the monument, we were intercepted by security who said, you guys come, come, come and tell us what are you doing here? So just like that, we were taken to the back in this office and they checked first of all who I was, that I entered the country legally, who my friend was, and what exactly is the purpose of us filming at the monument. So after we explained all of that, and we also showed the documentations because my friend is actually a journalist, they authorized us to go ahead and go forward. I have to let you guys know because this is not something that you would generally expect, you know, most of places in the, around the world when the monument is this famous you don't have those kind of challenges but it is not to be taken for granted when you're filming around africa this is what's going to happen it's not a senegalese problem this is a problem that i have noticed throughout the continent where people actually want to know if you have permissions before you start filming come partout on a encore été intercepté mais là qu'est-ce qu'ils t'ont demandé concrètement ils m'ont demandé l'autorisation de tournage Bon, vu que j'ai une autorisation de tournage voilà, pour deux mois, je leur ai montré l'autorisation de tournage et je viens à l'appui ma carte de presse professionnelle. Du coup, c'est tout vert. Quoi. Là, je peux faire tout ce que je veux. Le drone est tout, tout, tout. tout, ah, tout, tout. Super, super, ok. <rire> Donc, si vous venez ici à la Renaissance, vous devez être prêt parce que la sécurité est juste là et ils sont prêts à vous envoyer. You know, like I said, I've seen several YouTubers get in trouble over here because most people, like you go to France, you don't get an authorization to go from the Eiffel Tower. You go to Washington DC, you don't get an authorization to film by the White House. You don't get an authorization to film the Statue of Liberty. But it doesn't work like that here. You need to get permission for just about everywhere you film. And they're very, very strict around here. So basically he showed all his documents and now we are good to go. We are finally free to shoot. He's about to release the drone, man. He's about to release all the heavy equipment, man. Let's get up there. This is such a beautiful symbol. This is the place that I always wanted to come and visit, guys. Wow. 160 meters from the ground up. I wanted to run this, but you're not allowed to run these, I don't think. Guys, you ready to get up there? Ready to get a good close view of what Senegal has done for Africa? This beautiful symbol? Let's get this done. This is the roundabout point. This is where everybody comes. This is where everybody comes to start their journey here in Senegal. Wow. Sorry not to judge, Jigo Afri, I hold him with the hot, Leopold Sudar, Mamule, Shireu Mirai Gentleman.
Fatigant, hein Alors, fatigant. toi qui voulais courir là. <rire> <rire> non, non, mais si tu cours ça, il faut vraiment être, il faut être prêt. Hein. Je ne sais pas combien d'escaliers c'est, mais c'est pas blague, hein. c'est pas de blague ici. Ah ouais. Waouh. Aïe, aïe, aïe. Ah. C'est pas facile, hein. C'est pas facile. Tu dois marcher là. Aïe, aïe, aïe. Aïe, aïe, aïe. Let's go. We made it to the top, guys. And apparently there's a way you can pay about 3,000 francs and get up all the way up there. So, this is it. We're here at the top. And you can see the beautiful city of Dakar from here. Welcome to Dakar, Senegal, guys. We have made it onto the top. So there's a lot of tourists here. And there's a door to get up. I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna do this, but we're gonna try. So it's important to travel and immerse yourself in different cultures and learn about different countries and come and see for yourself. There's no way you get the full sense of a country unless you get on the plane and come and visit it. There's no point reading online and thinking you know or understand the place. Come and visit Senegal. Whatever you're thinking about Africa, you're dead wrong. Come and take a look. Africa is beautiful. And that's the next, next grand place. Africa is the future in a nutshell. I'm happy to be here, man. It's uh, after a long walk, something I tried to run. It's a lot, man. It's a lot. It's beaucoup, huh? It was inaugurated on Saturday, April 3rd, 2010 by President of Senegal. And this is the list of the African countries that sent the representative out here on the day that they inaugurated this statue. Benin, Burkina Faso, Cap Verde, Comores, Congo, Gabon, Gambia, Equatorial Guinea, Liberia, Malawi, Mali, Mauritania, Mozambique, the DRC, Sierra Leone, Chad, Togo, Cote d'Ivoire, and Zimbabwe, all right? So, this is um, basically the list of all the countries that sent a representative over here. And this statue was inaugurated in 2010 under the rule of President Abdullahi Wade. All right, Abdullahi Wade was in charge when the statue was inaugurated. And uh, yeah, it's, it's beautiful and, and quite grand. I can't even tell you how massive this thing is. Very imposing. And you can look all over that car right here. Man, fascinating. Renaissance, 
to a fake, I'm all born to be. I'm too good to be lost in all my fantasies. Feel the neck, but not the jaw. The monument we saw no part of it. Tera afi, muhami tan kian sanyo, yeah. Si suf kagi, to watch la no tun, ham ham ti, narin yan yan mu ye. Si atu na ma. Put us in such a dark, say to a fake, fake, no fake. When I saw you, you were just a dream. Say to a fake, I'm all born to be. I took a job, but later I'm gone. We're not just a man, we're a man, we're a man, we're a man. We're a man, we're a man, we're a man, we're a man. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed the area view here of the whole place. Mon frère, merci. À la prochaine. Merci à la prochaine. Ciao, ciao. Alright. So I hope you enjoyed the view, the area view. This thing, for sure, man. The drone, it just changes your perspective. We release it all the way in the sky, and um, we have another drone operator here who's ready to launch it out. Let his go as well. So, bonjour, ça va? Ça va. How are you? Ça va. Bonjour. Bonjour. Ça va bien? Oui, et vous? Ça va. Ok, très bien. Il est, il est, il est, il est, il est prêt. Très bien. Ok. Enjoy, hein? A plus tard. Ok, see you. See you. So as we step away from the Renaissance Monument, let me point out the fact that when it was built, and still is today, the Renaissance Monument is the tallest statue in Africa. And is also taller than the Statue of Liberty in New York and Christ the Redeemer. In Brazil. So I should also point out that I made a mistake when I was reading the list of the countries that had a representative on the day that the Renaissance Monument was inaugurated. When I was reading the list, I saw DR and I just automatically assumed that it was the DRC, the Democratic Republic of the Congo. But in fact, that's not it. The country of North Korea is actually the one that had the representative in that car when that statue was inaugurated. Now you might wonder, what is the connection between North Korea and Senegal? It doesn't make any sense, right? Because there are many countries in Africa that didn't have a representative on that day, but North Korea did. But why is that? Guys, one thing that most people are not aware of is the connection between North Korea and many African countries. In fact, the Renaissance Monument was built by and in Korea. So this monument that represents Africa Renaissance was actually built in Korea. So this is one of the issue with this monument that we all love is the fact that it was not made in Africa and it was not made by Africans. But this is not an issue with Senegal alone. This is a problem that concerns several African countries that have this relationship with North Korea that is specialized in making these big statues. So, for example, besides Senegal, you have the country of Zimbabwe that did the Hero Square, the statue of Patrice Lumumba in the DRC also was made by Korea. In Zimbabwe, you have Joshua Nkome statue made by Korea. In the Congo, you have Laurent Desiree Kabila, whose statue was made also by Korea. And in Ethiopia, you have the Tiglashin Monument, also known as the Freedom Monument, that was made also by North Korea. Namibia solicited the help of North Korea in order to complete the statue of Sam Njuma. And last but not least, the Memorial Museum in Namibia was also completed by North Korea. And this is just a few. There are several monuments throughout Africa that were actually built by and in North Korea. By the time the Renaissance Monument was completed, many people had an issue with the fact that it was actually made in Korea 
by Koreans as supposed to be made in the continent. As an African, personally, I feel that we should try our best to make our own art. Africa has a tremendous amount of talent and architects and people who can actually create these things. I don't know why our governments often seek help from foreign countries in order to accomplish things that we could probably do indoor. Did you know that North Korea was behind a lot of these monuments that are around the African continent? And it goes beyond the statues. There's also the construction of, you know, government buildings and even museums in the continent. Do you think it's okay? Do you think it's strange? So guys, we are right in front of the presidential palace here. I had to seek permission in order to get this close. <laughs> Senegal just elected the African youngest president by the name of Basirou Jemai Fai. All right, so I'm right in front of the presidential palace here. This is as close as I've ever gotten to an African president resident, man. This is amazing. So I'm here with my friend. C'est quoi le nom de la, la, la zone ici? C'est le plateau, n'est-ce pas? Là, on est au boulevard de la République. Boulevard de la République, d'accord. Ouais, là, il y a le palais présidentiel. Oui. Voilà quoi. Oui. Là, ah. c'est le boulevard de la République, quoi. Et tu disais, avec le temps, les règles ont changé vis-à-vis -vis de la oh. distance que tu peux être par rapport au palais, n'est-ce pas? Oui, parce que de l'époque de Macky Sall, là où je suis en ce moment en train de prendre des photos et des images, c'était impossible. Oui. Là, avec le nouveau président, là, c'est quasi possible. Là, oui. là, vous me voyez comme ça, en oui. train de prendre des photos et des images. Quoi. Ok. À l'époque de Macky Sall, c'était impossible, ça. Oh, wow. Oui, oui, oui. Ok. No man, that's the beer. So that's the beautiful presidential palace right here. I wanted to start right here by the presidential palace. So we're gonna be showing you around the city. We are right in the heart of Dakar right now. We're about to go get something to eat. And we bring you along with us to show you the beautiful city of Dakar. So if it's your first time on my channel, kindly hit that subscribe button. Let's go and discover Dakar. Just 11 months before his inauguration, Fai was imprisoned by the outgoing government of President Macky Sall. His party, the African Patriots of Senegal for Work, Ethics and Fraternity, was seen as a threat to the established political order. Fai's mentor, Usman Sonko, had long been at odds with Stahl's administration. He will be prosecuted for calling for insurrection, criminal conspiracy, undermining state security. Despite being behind bars, Fai's resolve only strengthened. He became a symbol of the people's frustration with the government's repression. Upon his release, just 10 days before the elections, Fai shocked the world by winning in the first round, a true testament to the power of democracy in Senegal. This history wasn't just a personal triumph, it marked a turning point for the nation, highlighting a demand for change after 12 years of Saul's rule. Fai took office on April, standing tall as the people's choice. To many, his election is a reflection of the unstoppable push for reform. Usman Sonko, who had been instrumental in Fai's rise, now serves as the Prime Minister, solidifying a partnership aimed at transforming Senegal with a focus on ethics, work and fraternity. So guys, when we approach the presidential palace, there are several layers of security. You have guards that are closer to the palace and some that are halfway there and some that are far away. So when you come close, you cannot miss the military presence. So before I turn on my camera, I did ask permission to film there. Not to mention the fact that I'm actually hanging out with the journalist. So they allowed us to film and by filming, I mean just taking these pictures and videos that I took in front of the presidential palace. So as we started filming, we were called by another security officer, not the one that gave us permission, but somebody who was closer to the palace. So he asked us if we had permission. And next thing you know, we were surrounded with several officers just basically questioning why we were there and why we were taking pictures of the presidential palace. The rules regarding where you're allowed to stand and what you're allowed to film has changed depending on the administration in Senegal. So now with a brand new government in place, we saw permission that we were granted. But regardless, we ran into some issues. So we just had a very interesting situation after filming in front of the palace, which we have approval for. He's a journalist. He got all his approvals, but then Several guards give us several authorizations. So as we got closer, another guard said, stop right here. Another guard would say, you can come a little bit closer. So we got a little bit closer, but we, we didn't even cross that street. Man, they were about to call the president. It seemed like they were so upset. Les gars ont dit, mais c'est pas possible, vous filmez quoi? Après, ils ont pris lui à distance. Mais qu'est-ce qu'ils t'ont raconté quand on s'est séparé là? Ils te disaient quoi? 
Bon, le, tout seul. Bon, le gars, il est venu, il m'a dit pourquoi vous filmez le pain. Je lui dis bon, moi j'ai une accréditation, j'ai une carte presse, je sors ma carte, je lui montre. Il m'a dit mais ouais, il fallait demander l'autorisation. Je lui dis écoute, on a demandé l'autorisation à tes collègues. Oui. Bon, le gars, il m'a dit bon, c'est pas la même chose quoi. Je lui dis mais c'est la gendarmerie. Le, poli le policier là-bas, tu peux me dire c'est pas la même chose parce que c'est la police là, on comprend. Oui. Mais là, tu as un uniforme de gendarmerie, eux, leur uniforme, c'est marqué gendarmerie. Il dit, ouais, non, il y a une grande différence, il fallait venir au poste de police, demander l'autorisation, même la presse, des trucs comme ça. Bon, après 5-10 minutes, les autres gars sont venus oui. intervenir pour oui. leur dire que eux, ils nous ont autorisé à filmer. Ça. Et il y, y a eu le calme là. Mais là, c'est scandaleux. Hein. C'est catastrophique. Ah, oui, oui, oui. C'est catastrophique. Ouais. Ah ouais, non, là, parce qu'on avait près de... Je peux compter pas moins de 8 gardes hein, qui nous ont encerclés, là. Et il y avait des discussions, même entre les gardes, qu'est-ce qui est autorisé, qu'est-ce qui n'est pas autorisé. Parce qu'il semblerait que les, les règles ont changé avec les, les administrations différentes. Avant, c'était permis de se filmer devant le palais. Oui, dans l'époque du président Abdelaywad, moi, j'ai eu des photos avec les gardes rouges et tout. Mais avec Macky Sall, ça a changé. Hein. Tu peux même plus passer devant le palais, là. C'était quasi impossible. Oui. Et là, bon, je me suis dit qu'avec Diomaï, vu que c'est une nouvelle ère qui commence et tout, ça allait changer quoi. Mais apparemment, c'est compliqué. Hein. Oui. Ouais. Non, c'est très compliqué. C'est très compliqué. On a pu prendre ces images. Euh, J'étais prêt à les effacer. Les gars demandent mais qu'est-ce que tu viens faire et tout ça. Ce n'était pas facile. Hein. Mais Dieu merci, tout s'est bien passé. Ouais, hein. On continue. On continue l'aventure. Une aventure n'est rien sans les problèmes. Je me to à un very nice spot. Look at this man. Alors on est où là exactement? À Union Club, c'est un restaurant derrière le palais quoi. Oh wow, this is very nice. Okay. Union Club. So this is the, one of the nicest restaurants near the palace and the view is just amazing. So we're just gonna be having a drink, eat something and then show you guys what, what it looks like around here. So guys, I'm here at the Union, about to order a cocktail, get some uh, something to eat. This is really a beautiful place to come and visit if you find yourself in that car. You have beautiful views of the water over there. And you can see it's mostly expats over here. You know, chilling. All right. So I'm actually going to get up and show you guys the different views that you can have from here. It is really a place that you can't miss, man. It's, it's so freaking beautiful, man. You know, lots of different expats over here. It's, it's gorgeous. And you have just about like everything. You know, so the menu, we're gonna get into that when I return. But let me get up and uh, give you guys a quick view of, um, of what the place looks like over All right, so leaving this little table, I'm gonna go downstairs on this side over here. All right, you have people on little boats, you know, enjoying the little views of the palm trees and the, the beautiful coast, right? So check this out. Beautiful, right there. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Being from that side to the other side here on the western side of the restaurant, you have access to different buildings over here. All right. So that's the view on this side. Just a beautiful, beautiful place. This is the place you don't want to miss when you come out here in that car if you arrive at the presidential palace. All right. So look at this view right here. It looks like there's even more restaurants on that side over there in like a swimming pool. You got people playing in the water. Man, this is the Africa they don't show you, man. This is the Africa they don't show you. How beautiful is this? So this is the place you don't want to miss. We have a drone up in the sky right now, trying to bring you guys the different views of this beautiful place out here. This is Dakar Senegal, guys. This is the place they don't show you. This is the Africa they don't show you. So enjoy the beautiful view from this drone that's going to be going around and showing you the beautiful city of Dakar, right from the point of view of this restaurant over here. So enjoy, guys. This is Dakar Senegal. Basir <laughs> 
So now that I've enjoyed the views, it's now time to get something to eat. So let's go ahead and order something and I will let you guys know what I think of the food that here in this beautiful hidden gym in Dakar. Let's go. A la santé. Cheers. All right, cheers. A la santé. So, voilà ce que moi j'ai commandé là. Et puis euh, lui, regardez son plat. Des gambas. Des gambas. Avec wow. aloko. Mm, mm, mm. Super. Tu aimes bien? Ah, ouais, j'aime bien. Ah ouais. Moi bon, aussi, je n'ai pas encore goûté, mais j'ai hâte. Hein. C'est tellement cool. Je vais prendre ma petite fourchette. Hein. Et puis, commencer le massacre. <laughs> From wherever you watch this guy, cheers. Amazing, now they're just opening up the terrace right now. We're moving the little roof because the sun is finally setting in that car. Man, I want to go out there and show you guys as much as I can. At the same time, I want to enjoy myself, man. So it's just like a balancing act between filming for YouTube and enjoying myself. So I'm trying to do what I can. Uh, like this thing, Cameroon. Le pays est doux. <laughs> Amazing meal. Definitely return here. C'était bon. Hein? Ouais, c'était cool. Hein? Ah, tu as aimé. Tu viens tout le temps, toi. Ouais. <rire> c'est toi que je te demande si tu as aimé. Là. Oh, mais non, c'était super. C'était super. Donc là, maintenant, on va à la station de métro de train. Mais ce le train. Le Express Régional a été inauguré en 2021 par son Excellence, Mr. Wakesal. 2021. Ouais. D'accord. Bon, j'ai fait le métro de Paris et tout. Oui. Mais là, c'est mieux. Hein? Le, ber, le train express là, oh, pas, bon, je ne sais pas si c'est parce que c'est neuf ou pas, mais c'est dix fois mieux que le métro de Paris. Hein. Ah oui? Ah ouais, toi-même tu verras quoi. 
Wow. Hey. Better than the Paris Metro, man. It's newer, it's cleaner. Let's go take a look, man. Et ça fume bien en large. Tranquille. Et le son est bon aussi. C'est bon. Tu peux même en même temps écouter de la musique. Il te faut ça. C'est ça qu'il me faut. J'ai soigné un film en Afrique. C'est très compliqué. Je dois être honnête. Les gens, ils ont une première classe, ils ont une économie. Les gens, ils respectent. Tu ne vois pas de SDF gauche droite là. C'est ça. Comme, comme à Paris, partout. Voilà, là. partie là où il y a les stations de métro. Il y a toujours des SDF gauche droite là qui sont là tranquilles. Ici, tu ne vois personne. Wow. Voilà quoi, c'est cool quoi. Ça c'est l'émergence. 